Let's uh, practice some more uh, basic formulas. So I begin by typing in some job positions. You can make these up. And I'm going to bold the top two. And let me just make it a bit more pretty. It's just to make it yellow so you can see it nice and clearly. And notice how you can actually drag this a bit wider, column A. Or you can even uh, double click between column A and column B just to push it over very quickly. So corporate secretary, let's just say there's a salary of $70,000. That's a nice uh, high number, exalted position. YouTube partner, we'll just say you make uh, 100 bucks a year. Clerk, although the range is quite uh, high here. Clerk, we'll just say uh, $30,000. Uh, accountant, we'll just say $40,000. Of course, this ranges uh, vastly as well. Admin administrative assistant will just say thirty-five thousand, and slave will just say uh, one dollar. Okay, so what kind of formulas can we practice? I'll type in equals. How about average? So, what does the average person here makes in terms of these jobs? Equals average bracket and you can highlight your numbers here and then press enter. You don't even have to close that last bracket. Press enter. So the average money is uh, almost $30,000. Let's press delete. Let's try something else. Now, if I were to aspire to be a slave, uh, I might not really have the full picture of what kind of money I could make if if I thought if I heard that the average was thirty thousand dollars in this graduating class but probably a, a better value to to re to have is uh, the, the concept called median equals median bracket so what does a middle person make so if you actually highlight the numbers and you press enter the middle person makes thirty-two thousand five hundred. All right, it's pretty close. Now, what if these were actual people's names? So, person A, person B, person C, uh, D, E, F, and then say there's some rich guy from Mexico who owns all the telecommunications uh, companies. Some rich billionaire. How much do they make? We'll just say they make five hundred million a year. We'll just pretend. That's a huge number. So if I type in the average equals average bracket and then highlight it all, or you can even do click on the uh, home tab and go to the little sigma drop down equals average uh, equals average, and then it automatically figures out that we're trying to find the average of these numbers. Press enter. So the average person here makes how much? seven hundred forty thousand dollars that's too much that's unrealistic for the rest of the people so this outlier this one person skewed everyone's average up to make it uh, seem good but really the average salary of the graduating class of 2013 was this much money wow sounds great but really all these people are not doing very well compared to this one person so a better number to go by is equals median equals median is the middle guy how much did the middle guy make? The middle guy made about $35,000. So that's a very good formula to know. Let's practice another formula. What if you want to add things up? You can type in equals. You can manually click on things. Plus this, plus this, plus this. And you can skip things that you want. Of course, this would be painfully slow. So the idea of using the plus sign uh, is uh, very useful and, and you can add things up this way. I think I might have accidentally hit something wrong but which goes to show you that you really should use the formula called sum equals sum. You could click on here, comma, here, comma, here, etc. This would be painful so you can add up the first three numbers. So of course if you're trying to add up all the numbers you really should be dragging. So the colon actually means all the numbers in between including the endpoints. That's much more effective. Now, another formula you should probably know is the idea of uh, uh, multiplying numbers. So, what if you're trying to buy something? If I say the cost, if the cost is, let's say, 99 cents, and then let's figure out the 
the actual tax. So the tax is going to be, let's say, 7%. Uh, you, I'm going to say equals this value times 0 0.07. So you can see the tax is now around 7 cents. And then, of course, uh, you could uh, you could uh, f format this to be uh, to only show two decimals. I can right click. Uh, in fact, I can highlight both these numbers. I can right click, go to uh, Format Cells, and I'm not really satisfied with uh, money being represented by this many decimal places and I'm wasting time, I shouldn't be formatting cells, I should be just clicking on the dollar sign up here, which is a lot faster. Okay, since I already began talking about it, if you right click format cells, you can play with all these options. I was going to just set the decimal places to the two, and you could do that. Uh, or you can even, if I press Control Z, you can even click on this little uh, accounting number format here, and that's a really fast way of making it look like currency there. Alright, so anyways, uh, we calculated this formula using the star asterisk symbols equals b10 times 0 0.07 and there's other symbols as well if I have the number um, you can use the equals this minus this to get the actual uh, difference and of course you can use the division as well so equals this divided by this uh, would give you the uh, division amount if you were to uh, divide. So uh, this here, the forward slash, the forward slash means uh, division, the slash going this way. Alright, so we practiced uh, some more basic formulas. We even uh, added some uh, basic formatting to this tutorial. Congratulations, now you have some more basics in Excel.